Hi, this is Tommy, and this is my second video for MobileTechVideos.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Serendipity 8 on your Galaxy S2 for AT&T. Okay, first off, I want to say I'm not responsible for any damage to your phone during this process. Proceed with caution. Okay, now you need to have your phone rooted in order to be able to do this. Um, check the video in the description on, on how to do that. And now you need to go to the market and download an app called RAW Manager. This only works if your phone is rooted. And once you've downloaded it, go ahead and open it up. And then hit Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. And then select the device which you're using, Galaxy S2 for AT&T. Let it flash and then hit OK. Okay, now that this is this step is done, um, I'm going to show you everything you need to download on the desktop and where to put the files and everything. But first, once we get to the next step, you need to mount your USB storage on your phone. And I'll meet you guys at the next step. Okay, for this step, I'm going to show you how to download these two files and place them on your desktop. Um, first you need to go to this page right here and hit the big blue download button and then choose direct download and save it to your desktop um, I've already saved it so I'm not going to and next you need to go to this page right here and scroll all the way down and pick one of the files except for the first one and also save that to your desktop and um, once both files are downloaded, you need to open up your phone using uh, your computer. Um, and then drag the two files onto the SD card. Um, I've already downloaded them onto my phone, so I'm not going to do this part. And um, next, I'm going to show you how to install the kernel and the ROM using Clockwork Mod Recovery. Okay, now for this part, you need to dismount from the computer and turn the phone off and unplug it from the computer. Okay, now that the phone is off, if you follow the previous steps correctly, you will be able to put this into Clockwork Mod Recovery. By doing this, you need to push volume down, plus volume up, plus power, and hold until the screen turns on. Let go, and it should boot into recovery. Alright, here we are. Now you need to scroll down with the volume keys and hit install zip from SD card choose zip and scroll all the way down to the kernel we downloaded and hit home and then hit yes and let it install the kernel and now it's done choose to install serendipity 8.1 scroll down hit yes hit home welcome to serendipity and by the way if you guys feel like donating they're a really good team and they make good software and just wait for it to install system files Now that it is done, go ahead and hit back and reboot the system now.
Also, this um, yellow triangle will be here unless you plug in a USB jig, which resets the binary counter. Um, I don't have one with me right now, but you can buy one in the link in the description below. Okay, this is the new boot anim animation for Serendipity 8. This may take a while because it's installing all the cache files. Also, I forgot to mention, if you need to keep your um, apps, you can go ahead and download Titanium Backup and back your apps up like that. Or you could just get that step and it will erase them. All right now that we're into the ROM, go ahead and select the language and tap the little Android. And I'm going to sign into my Google account. Um, I'm going to skip this part because I don't want you guys to know my password. Now sign in. Next. Finish. And voila, we're into Serendipity 8, and um, this is what it looks like, and it also comes rooted, and I think up here at the top, yeah, it has uh, movable widgets, um, you can you can have airplane mode, brightness, and I think that's flashlight, yeah it is, and um, auto rotation, airplane mode, GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, all the standard stuff, and um, also, I think there is um, Wi-Fi tethering. I'm not sure. Um, hold on, let me look. Yes, it's right there. So you can tether with USB. And also, there isn't any overscroll glow. And overall, it seems like a nice ROM. And it's very fast and responsive. And um, that pretty much concludes this video, and if you would like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, um, maybe donate, and also if you have a bricked phone, you can also send it to us, and we'll get that taken care of for a decent price, and we ship internationally also, and if you like this ROM, I would suggest um, donating to Mikey Mike or Chance M, uh, they're both the creators of this ROM, and that's pretty much it. Um, Hope you enjoy it. Bye.